Welcome everybody to this week's Super Members session where we're now going to dive into the vocoder. So the vocoder is obviously the sound that makes your voice sound like a robot, the Daft Punk sound, so to speak, for you know modern dance music. But it's been around for a long time now, the vocoder, many, many years, decades in fact. So Ableton make it really easy to use a vocoder. Vocoders, hardware versions used to be really difficult, but software versions are an absolute cakewalk. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into it, put an acapella into the track, and then go from there. So I'm going to show you the basics on how to do it, and then you can experiment for yourself. Right. So our track is obviously... is obviously like... As it is, we've got all the bass and we've got the chords and we've got the lead lines and the, the road solo. What we need to do is mute the glide synth, which was the arpeggio and the lead line on the roads. And all we're going to do is keep the roads open and the drums and the bass. That's it. So it sounds like this. OK, so what we want to do is we want to find an acapella that we like. It doesn't have to be in key. And that's the beauty of acapellas and vocoders, you can put in an acapella and it will pretty much get it in key um, for the track. That's just the way it works. So, right, I have used the famous Candy Stat and you've got the love acapella, okay? So, Sometimes I feel like going back. so we've got that, right? I'm not gonna play it all um, because you probably know it, you should know it. Okay, so we've got that acapella. Okay, and the chords we use obviously are F minor, G minor, seventh. So go into Reverb Resonance, uh, if you've got 11, that is. Grab a basic vocoder. You've got a lot of different ones here for different, you know, um, pitches and stuff. But just grab a straight vocoder onto the audio channel, okay? And just leave it at that for now. Okay, then put your acapella onto that audio channel, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to duplicate your chords. So your main chords of your track, which for us is this electric piano. So we want to duplicate that channel drag it down and then mute it okay completely mute it all right like so and then what you want to do is you want to find a brass sound uh preferably a brass sound or a poly sound something bright and electronically you know really sort of electric so in this case well, i've got the brzezinski um it's an older preset from ableton 8 believe it or not um, i'm not sure if they carried it over into 9 or 10 but it's definitely not in 11 but fortunately i kept this one and then you drag that onto the chords that you've muted. So I'm just going to solo it and it sounds like this. It's very bright, very fizzy, very electronic. So um, what I've done is I've muted that channel now and then I go back to the Candy Staten vocal, click on the vocoder, change the carrier to external and then change the audio from to Brzezinski, which is number nine, okay? I've put some EQ on there and I've cut the bottom end out and you'll see why in a second. So now I'm going to solo Candy Staten. And there you go. There's your acapella in key with the track. So what else do we have to do to that in order to make it sound that kind of, you know, that, as good as that? Because some acapellas you can put in and they don't sound very good. So you have to EQ a lot of them. So if I take off the EQ now, can't hear it. So I've cut all the bottom end out, took away all the lower frequencies, brightened up the mids and the tops. So that's probably one of the important things you need to do with a vocoder. But the other thing you need to think about on the vocoder is solo the vocoder and look down here where it says bands. The higher the band, the thinner it sounds. Okay, so I'm going to start at 40. Go to 28. 12 gets deeper and deeper. So I mean, I like 36 because you can just about hear the original underneath it. But obviously, if you take the dry wet down, you can get a balance of the original and the acapella version. But it'll only work if it's in key with the track initially. So I mean. And the other thing to concern yourself with is the depth, which makes it thicker, like this. Like, can make it cleaner. So, but that's when it brings in the pad that we've muted. So, for one. 
So you might want to have that over a little bit, about 100, you know, 100%, something like that. 110, 112. Somewhere around there, just to give it a bit more, you know, a bit more brightness. And format obviously gives it its depth, its pitch. It's kind of like this. Like... But I always leave that anyway on on uh, on zero. And um, release is obviously attack is slow. So that almost like a reverb, you know, if you think of it in those terms. But fast release, fast attack. You don't want too much release on it because it kind of spills over into the mix. Um, but that's what we do there. So that's one idea. Use a brass sound. So go into your instruments. And if we go to the brasses, you've got... I'm just going to go to analog, brass. You don't have to use the Ableton ones. Obviously, if you've got some brass ones on some of the uh, external plugins you've got, then by all means use them. But brass usually works really well. Um, and then there's another uh, way to do it. It's probably exactly the same process. Um, I'm just going to change this now to Brzezinski to Polyberg. Get a poly sound, a really bright poly synth sound. Um, and you'll hear it sounds like this now, look. It's pretty similar. Just turn the frequency down. Turn the frequency up. But obviously, it's, again, the poly, you know, the poly sound is obviously a, a brighter synth sound. You know, it's your polyphony sound. So you've got that. But I prefer, obviously, the, the brass sound. Not a great deal of difference, but there is a difference there. It's more robotic. So you can put any sort of acapella in, drop the track. Twenty. And there you go. So get get some acapellas, experiment with them, use the vocoder, get some brass sound, some synth brass or some poly synth, anything bright. You can use pads as well, you know, but try and avoid dull sounds. You know, they just tend not to work. Um, and turn the frequency up on all of your polyberg sounds or your polyberg, what's the synth I've used there? But, you know, the, the poly sounds that you use, um, make sure you get the frequencies as high as you can without it sort of, you know, getting distorted and tinny. Um, but yeah, by all means, that is how you use a vocoder. Grab some acapellas, you know, get some, put them in, depends on what key they're in. And don't forget now, if you've got Ableton 11, um, the update recently came out where it automatically warps it for you now a lot. If you drop in a full vocal or a full track that's kind of complex, um, I haven't changed that to complex, by the way. But uh, as you can see, it automatically warp markers everything. <laughs> And does it pretty much all for you? There's a few things you'll obviously have to tweak and drag, but you know you've got that bonus now with uh, warping on um, long waves such as acapellas and, and tracks and stuff. So any questions, guys? Give me a shout. What we'll do is next week we'll probably add a couple more bits to this, and then I'll start arranging this. You know, when we've basically used all of Ableton's you know devices, um, so to speak. We might put some sort of you know marimba or something, and something a kind of a real sound but electronically tweaked. Um, an organic instrument, should I say. So that's it. Experiment with the vocoder. Drop it in to your track and see what you come up with. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next week.